channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my Louis Vuitton Daumier Ben collection. So you guys might recall on Instagram, I did a recent poll and I asked you guys if you would rather see my monogram collection or my Daumier Ben collection and it was 52.48 monogram won by a few percentages, but then a lot of you also said you wanted to see my Daumier Ben collection as well. Now, I don't have quite as large a dummy a Ben collection as I do monogram, but I still feel like I have some really good pieces and I wanted to share them with you today. I have three small other goods and three handbags. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see my humble dummy a Ben collection, then keep watching. Okay, so as I stated, if you guys have not checked out my monogram collection and you're into the signature monogram from Louis Vuitton, make sure to check that video out. I will have it linked down below. But in today's video, we are going to be focusing on Damier Ben, And I have to tell you, I think Damier Ben is probably my favorite Louis Vuitton pattern. I just love it, especially with the beautiful rose ballerine. I feel as though those pair really, really nicely together. Plus, I feel like it's a really understated fuss-free pattern and I think it matches really well with everything I really really do which is why I love it so much so let's go ahead and this time around I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to start with small leather goods okay and I do want to apologize if my voice is a little scratchy I have been fighting off horrible allergies the past couple of days this is actually the first day my eyes have not been tearing like crazy so my voice is a little raspy so you'll have to excuse me for that First item I want to share with you is this little guy right here. This is my beautiful mini pochette. I love this piece. It is so incredibly functional. Um, as you saw, I do own it in the monogram as well. But this is such a functional piece, as I stated in that video, because you can use it as a little handbag. You can take the chain and you can attach it and use it as a little wristlet. But the way that I like to use it as a little makeup bag, I'm actually using it right now as a makeup bag. So let's do a little what's in my bag. We'll get a little bonus what's in my bag. So the first thing I have in here is this Tom Ford lip gloss. This is in the shade Aura. If you guys wanna splurge on a really good lip gloss, now this is definitely a splurge, so I would may I maybe recommend waiting for the Sephora sale. This is so good. It is like buttery and smooth. It just makes your lips feel so good. I'll link it down below if you're interested. And then I also have a couple perfumes. I have this one by Nest. It's a perfume oil. It's an Indian jasmine. Oh my gosh, this scent is a really good floral scent. And I like the oils because they're really potent. They're very strong, so you don't need a lot. And then I have Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. This is another one, but this is more of a clean and fresh scent. And then what else do I have in here? I also have a little mirror. It's a Christian Dior mirror. How cute is this? I actually got this. Um, I think I purchased something from Nordstrom and I got this in a free little gift. I was buying a couple of Dior items and you got this with purchase. And then I also have a little Dior. This is a lip balm for when my lips get chapped. And then I have one more thing. I also have the Louis Vuitton California Dream little sample size. And this is a really, really good um, citrus scent. Very, very strong, but it's good for summer. Okay, so that is everything that I have in here, but you can see this one has the beautiful red interior. I really would love it if they made this with the Rose Ballerine interior because that's definitely my favorite. This particular piece is made in France and it is just a great, great keep all. Another cool thing that I mentioned in my video prior is you can also attach a longer chain and you can use this as a crossbody bag as well. So this is just a really, really multifunctional piece and I would highly recommend it. Okay, the next piece that I want to mention that I have is this little beauty. This is the Zoe wallet. Dummy Eben with the beautiful rose ballerine. Now the thing that I love about the Zoe wallet is it has this back pocket. I talk about pockets on purses, on wallets all the time. I love back pockets because this is where you can put your ID, a major credit card. It's really, really handy. This is just the cutest little wallet. So you open it up, and the reason this is so cute is not only does it have a little zip compartment for your change, it has 
four credit card slots and then it also has a bill fold so it's just a little tiny wallet but it's super functional and I love little tiny compact wallets that fit a lot I mentioned in my monogram collection that I had the Rosalie and I absolutely love that Rosalie it's similar in size to this but cute compact wallets are the best because they fit in all sorts of tiny handbags which is great but this is just a beautiful piece again you can see the pretty uh, rose ballerine you can see the back and then I'll give you like an up close view here of the interior it is just a really really great wallet now I don't own the Empront version of this wallet However, a lot of people have mentioned it. Actually, Lux Purse Love, if you haven't checked her channel out, she does a lot of great reviews as well. She mentions this wallet in the Emperor version and she says it's one of her favorites and she loves it. So I think that one, I could see how it's a little more flexible. This wallet, at times, I feel it can be a little bit cumbersome to get cards out, but other than that, it's a really, really cute wallet. Okay, and the final small leather good that I have in the Dami Ben collection is one of my favorites. It is this little piece right here. I actually just posted a picture on my Instagram page of this. Oh, you guys, I love the Damier Eben and the Rose Ballerine combination. If I could get the, this combination in every bag, I would. It is just so beautiful. Oh, and it matches my nails too. But I love this. This is the Louis Vuitton. This is the multi-clay. Now, I had the multi-clay previously in the monogram version, but I actually sold it because in my heart, I knew that I really wanted this color combination. But this is really great. You can see, beautiful. And then the interior right here, it is six, you can hold six keys, but I love this because I can fit my fob on it and it will close. You can see a lot of people are asking if there's something good that will fit your fob and this one will. And then I have, behind here I have my medical card, two major credit cards, and my ID. So this is just a really, really great piece. Now, I have mentioned before if I could change one thing. Now, keep in mind, it's not a deal breaker because I have yet to have my cards come out of it, but I do kind of wish one side was like closed off. You can see both of these sides are open. I do wish one was closed off so I could feel a little better about my stuff potentially not falling out, but up to this point, I haven't had any issues with it. But this is a really, really good piece. I like it because you can easily wipe things off. The only thing, I've mentioned this before in my prior videos, that for some reason, the little buttons, sometimes they can peel off. I had that issue with my monogram piece, so you have to be very mindful of that. I'm not sure the metal buttons will tarnish and get scratches, and then these little leather buttons that will start to peel off. So that's my only complaint. Other than that, this is a really good piece. Okay guys, those are my three small leather goods. Now let's move on to handbags, and I have three handbags to share. This it right here is one of my older pieces. This was my very first Louis Vuitton purchase. It is the Speedy 35. I mentioned to you guys, I got this bag for around, I want to say it was like between seven and eight hundred dollars and now it's like well over a thousand. I don't know the exact price right now, but I will put it up on the screen. But the price increases have been crazy, but this is a great bag. It fits a lot. You can see that for as old as it is, it's still in amazing condition. Now, I have mentioned to you guys that I do have some regrets with this. I do feel as though I should have gotten the bandolier version because this one, you can only really carry it as a top handle, and I do find that it gets a little heavy, especially if you have it stuffed pretty full and since you can't put it over your shoulder you're kind of holding it like this or putting it on the crook of your arm for the majority of the time so it can get a little heavy that is one of my only complaints and then on the inside I actually do have a Zumoni organizer to match and I like keeping the organizer in there because I feel like it helps to keep its structure when I have it stored but my goodness what can I say about this bag it really does fit a lot but 
If I could go back in time, I think I definitely would have opted for the Speedy B or the Speedy Bandolier because then that way I would have the option of carrying it top handle or carrying it over the shoulder. So, but this is my oldest Louis Vuitton bag. It was my first purchase. You guys know the story. I told you I remember that I saved up my money. I went into like the Neiman Marcus. It was the Louis Vuitton and Neiman Marcus and I was so excited to buy this and it holds a very special place in my heart. You can actually even see the lock. I don't know if it'll show up on camera but it's kind of tarnished a little because this bag again it is so old but very very special to me okay my next dummy Ben item is one of my favorites as well I bought this in Vegas you guys know I was super excited to get it and it is the Alma BB this bag is so good first off I feel as though it's priced well for Louis Vuitton because it's a very functional bag and it falls underneath of the $1,500 mark and I just love it. I absolutely love it. Let me tell you all the great things about it. First off, it has feet on the bottom, which are amazing. You can carry the bag top handle, or if you don't wanna carry it top handle, it does also have this strap right here, in which you can wear it as like a long shoulder bag, and you can also wear it as a long crossbody as well. The thing I like, and I mentioned this quite a bit, is it has this little, like I call it a clamshell opening. So you can put a bunch of stuff in it and you don't have to worry about closing it and having things falling out because it just puckers a little bit but you can easily access your things like you can reach in easy if you're at the store it doesn't have like a cumbersome flap to open so this is such a good bag I really really love it and I would highly highly recommend it now I wish it did have an adjustable strap the strap is not adjustable that is one of the few downfalls about this bag but it's okay, I still like the way it falls, and how great would this be if they made this with the Rose Ballerine interior? I just think that would be so pretty. But I love this bag so much that I considered getting it in the monogram, um, but but I do have the Nano Speedy, so then I, I talked myself out of it, but I would love to get it in the Empron version. I think that would be so, so pretty but I keep telling myself I don't need it. But this is a great bag. As I stated, I would highly recommend it. It's so good. Hey guys, I have one more bag to share, and this was a more recent purchase, and it is the Louis Vuitton. This is the Neverfull in the MM size. You guys know that I have two Neverfulls, one in the monogram and one in the dummy Azure, and they're both in the GM size, so they're both more suited for travel. So I wanted to get a tote that was more suitable for day to day, and so I picked this one up. It is the beautiful dummy Eben, no feet, but wait till you see the interior. It has this beautiful pink interior, and I do once again have a Zumoni organizer, and a lot of you ask me what color this Zumoni organizer is. It is in icing pink, and all of the organizers do come with this little pouch, which I like to use uh, for hand sanitizer. But this is such a good bag, and you guys, one thing I always mention about the Neverfull, I think these are a really good bang for your buck because they come with this extra pouch. I mentioned that in my prior video it's great because you can use it as a little wristlet you can also use it to put um, makeup in you know whatever you want I always say that if you want to use this bag for travel you can use it put stuff in it and then you can just kind of take this little clutch and take it out for the evening but it is a really really good bag I love it and I can see what all the hype is about because it is a great one and I just love that color combination of the Damier Eben and the Rose Ballerine. Hey guys, so there you have it. That is my humble Damier Eben collection from Louis Vuitton. I have about six items and I really, really love the items that I have in my collection. I think they're all super functional and as I stated, I just absolutely love the Damier Eben design. I think it's so beautiful, especially with the Rose Ballerine. Oh, what a great color combination. So thank you guys so much for joining. If you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys and thanks again for taking the time to watch I will see you in my next video